be better. Looking at you, Frank Clark. All right, let's bring in Tom Pelissero. He is covering all the topics you need to keep your eyes on as training camp is underway. Five more teams showing up in full. I'm talking rookies, meeting vets. Tom, thanks for spending time with us this morning and all day long on NFL Network, including, of course, Inside Training Camp Live. Uh, there's some news on a friend of the show, one of the best pass rushers in the game. What's going on with Yannick Ngakwe? Yannick Ngakwe not reporting to training camp with his teammates in Jacksonville. In fact, my understanding is the sides really aren't talking right now. Ngakwe entering the last year of his rookie deal. He's due about $2 million. A former third-round pick who has 29 and a half career sacks over three seasons. So that's going to be a situation to keep an eye on. Another pass rusher we're going to be tracking for a while here, Jadevian Clowney. I am told that the Texans do not expect Clowney to report to camp with his teammates today. He is un- he's not signed his franchise tender, which means the Texans cannot find him. However, there are some positive signs here. Clowney is working out. He has been studying his playbook. We know this because he's been in regular communication with teammates and coaches. That's not always the case in situations like this. So everything from that standpoint right now is positive with Clowney. The question is, when does he show up? That's up to Genevieve and Clowney. But really, the pressure point does not come until the week of the regular season opener against the Saints, at which point it would start costing Clowney about a million dollars a week if he continues to stay away. One person who has been speaking to Clowney told me they would be shocked if he misses regular season games. And one other news note that I just tweeted about a minute ago, Brian Burns, number 16 overall pick, has agreed to terms with the Panthers. They report today Burns will be on time to camp. That leaves only two first-round picks unsigned. Nick Bosa, the number two pick of the 49ers, and Quinnen Williams, the number three pick of the Jets. I love Mr. Burns. I met him at the draft. He's a big Marvel fan. He uh, had a brother who was also drafted by the Panthers. It is definitely a star rookie out of that draft class that I'm looking at, taken in the middle of that first round. But I think he'll be a big impact player with some veterans and the Panthers' defense parting ways. Appreciate you, Tom Felicer. We'll talk to you in a little bit. Thoughts on these pass rushers, guys? Should we be worried? We know the pressure point, as Tom said, isn't now, Peter. But where's this dinging on your radar? Yeah, Yannick Ngakwe is a talented player. This is a kid who's never missed a game for the Jaguars. Are still one of these young up and coming players, but uh, here we go. I mean, this is it. And the Jaguars have a lot of young personalities who are going to want to get paid. It's Ngakwe, it's Fournette, it's Miles uh, Jack. The list goes on and on. And oh, yeah, Jalen Ramsey just showed up with yeah. a brink truck saying, Time to get paid. <laughs> It's the embarrassment of riches. You almost feel like the window was the year they got to the AFC Championship game and last season more so than now, but not the way you want to start the offseason. How about a window for Houston? Something happened in the AFC South, but the AFC South grew up. You know, Houston had a long time <laughs> yeah, here the, little the Colts were broken, and the Jaguars were bad, and the Titans drafted a rookie quarterback. Like, it was ripe for the pick, and now the AFC South is loaded. So a player as talented as Clowney in a year that they need a deep playoff run now, like, it's critical. Yeah, both teams need both players on the football field. They are mm-hmm. so critical for what that defense – both teams, what those defenses are able to do, because like you said, that pass rush solves a lot of problems on the back end. And Houston, you know, when you when you can team J.J. Watt up with uh, Clowney. with Clowney, special things can happen. I'm saying. And, and, and you have to have these guys in the right mindset. Really quickly, you're a player, yeah. and Ramsey shows up that way. Do you laugh or do you say? What's you laugh thing? because, I mean, you know it's coming, and that's the thing. At some point, these teams know it's coming. These dudes want to be paid. <laughs> they don't want to wait while they're in the final year of those contracts. Teams know that it's coming, but I don't. You know, the Jalen Ramsey was was very funny. He's been a little bit more quiet about his, but it's it's definitely coming. It is coming. Pass rushers. I mean, you're also seeing guys like Demarcus Lawrence get broke off. Frank Clark signed big deals uh, with new squads, so they want to get paid now. We'll see how it shakes off. We know everybody uh, cannot eat like they'd like to in Mm -hmm. the league per the salary cap. More to come on Good Morning Football. Inside Training Camp Live follows us. We've got live reporters, intrepid interviews, all of that. And, yeah, there's this guy. How about him? (laughs) I mean, he was on your pivotal player list. Number two. And today we do number one.